Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. If you're new to my channel, be sure to subscribe because I make new videos every single Sunday. Today I'm going to be doing another SJSU Q&A because I've been getting asked a lot of questions about SJSU and I thought that I would answer them in this video. And before I get into the questions, I want to give a shout out to everyone who recognized me at orientation on Saturday. I'm so glad that my videos were able to help you. So now let's get into the questions. I made a list on my phone of some questions that I got asked on Instagram and I'm going to be answering them today. Then I organized the questions into three main categories, orientation, transportation, parking, and just random miscellaneous questions. Let's get started with the orientation questions. The first one which I've been asked a lot in response to the orientation advice video that I did is can I still get classes if I'm in blank orientation? And the short answer is yes. I have recommended signing up for the earliest possible orientation in a lot of my previous videos but it's not essential. You can still get classes even if you are in one of the later orientations but just make sure that you go into registration with a lot of different backup plans. Look up some of the courses ahead of time. If you can't get into any of the lower division classes for your major, try signing up for some GE classes or some lower division classes for your minor and if you have any questions about what classes would be good for your specific major you can ask any of the advisors at orientation or you can dm or email me i don't know everything but i'll try my best to help you out the second question which is kind of related is what should i do if i can't get the classes i want and as i said before do some research and try to figure out what classes will fill some of your other requirements you can always take some electives or take some classes that will count towards your minor the next question is one that i've been asked a few times in the last week or so and that is should i join the humanities honors program i got into the program my freshman year but I decided not to do it because I'm honestly not that interested in humanities and I felt like it would be a lot of reading and writing which isn't necessarily a bad thing but I personally wanted to focus on my major courses and doing well in those but it's really up to you I think it's a really great program and if you're interested in humanities or you want to major or minor in humanities I think it's probably worth all the reading and writing and effort but again I don't have any personal experience with it so you might want to try to ask someone that actually was part of it the next category is transportation and if you don't already know I work at transportation solutions at SJ you and I've been riding Bay Area public transportation for most of my life so I feel like I'm pretty qualified to answer these questions. First question is, is the parking as bad as people say it is? And yes, it is as bad as people say it is unless you're getting there at the crack of dawn. Sometimes it'll take people 30 minutes or more to find parking and it's hundreds of dollars per semester. So I would highly recommend using public transit or biking or walking if you can. The next question is, is public transit safe? This is a really hard question to answer because I think it depends on the person but I personally have never had anything happen to me while I was riding public transit and I often take the buses and light rail really early in the morning and really late at night. There have been situations where I felt slightly unsafe but nothing ever happened to me. So overall I would say that it's pretty safe but definitely be aware of your surroundings and keep a close eye on your valuables and of course contact the operator or the police if something does happen or if you do feel unsafe and if you do want to get your smart passes so you can ride BTA regular and rapid buses and light rails for free. The request link will be in the description so be sure to do that if you haven't already. I know that I promote this a lot but it's a really great way to save money and even if you only use it once it's still worth it. The next question is, do a lot of people bike at SJSU and should I bring my bike to campus? I don't know the exact number of people who bike to campus off the top of my head, but a lot of people do bike. If you are planning on biking to campus or bringing your bike to campus, I would highly recommend using the bike lockers in the dorms or the bike enclosures on campus. There have been some instances of bicycle theft on campus. SJSU is an open campus, so people from outside sometimes come in and try to steal bikes. So I would recommend using a bike enclosure or locker just to make sure that your bike is safe. And if you want to get a key to the bike enclosures, come to the transportation solution office in the student union. The next question is a question that I get asked all the time at orientation and that is why aren't there discounts on BART and Caltrain? I personally contacted BART and Caltrain and asked them about this and they said that they are open to offering student discounts but they haven't seen enough interest from students so if you want to get student discounts on BART and Caltrain send them an email, call them, tweet them, go to a meeting. Sometimes you have to put in a little bit of effort to get what you want in life. So now I'm going to answer the random questions. The first one is how do I meet people? This is probably going to sound really obvious but just be nice and introduce yourself to people and talk to them. My second suggestion would be to join clubs and organizations that you're interested in because then you can meet people with similar interests to you. The next question which is related to that is what club should I join? I've only been a part of one club during my time at SJSU and that is PRSSA SJSU which is the Public Relations Student Society of America. It's a really great organization if you're a PR major or at all interested in PR. I joined the first semester of my freshman year and now I'm on the board. So if you want to join come to our meetings on Tuesdays at 6 p.m. in DBH 117 and I'll put our website in the description in case you want to get some more information. The next question is what jobs are available on campus and how do I get a job on campus? I already made a video about how to get a job on campus so if you want to check that out I'll link it in the description. But my main suggestion would be to sign up for Handshake and look at all of the job opportunities on campus and see which ones might interest you and then apply. It took me a year and a half to get a job on campus after submitting dozens of applications so if you don't get the first job that you apply for on campus don't give up, keep trying, work on your resume, build your skills, and just gain experience in any way 
you can. The next question is, what is the food like? I get asked this a lot, but I honestly don't know. I've never eaten in the dining hall, so I can't really answer this. But I've heard that it's pretty good, but kind of repetitive. But they do have drama juice, which is always good. And the last question that I'm gonna answer is, what's your favorite thing about SJSU? There's a lot of things that I like about it, but one of my favorite things about it is just how diverse it is, and that there's just a wide variety of people there. For me, at least, it would be boring to go to a school where everyone was exactly like me, and everyone was interested in the same things as me. I've learned so much just by interacting with the wide variety of people at SJSU. So that's my favorite thing about SJSU. So those are all the questions that I'm going to be answering today. If you have any other questions, feel free to comment them down below and I'll try my best to answer them. Thank you all so much for watching this video. Stay awesome and I'll see all of you very soon with a new video. Goodbye.